Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's relationship almost took over the NFL season. Now it's been revealed that after the tight end's Super Bowl win, he organized an extravagant Valentine's Day gift for his lover. Let's get into all the details, shall we? It was a sweet Valentine's Day for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift this year. The Sun has reported despite the couple spending the day apart, as Swift was on her way to Melbourne for the biggest shows of her career. The Chiefs star organized some extravagant surprises for her, reportedly worth US $13,000. Upon walking into her hotel room, which is rumored to be the presidential villa at Melbourne's Crown Towers, the pop star was reportedly met with an initial 250 eternity rows set in a monumental round Parisian-inspired hat box. With the news outlet reporting, they cost the US $2,100. However, the gifts didn't stop there, and it was reported that after receiving the initial gift, the Grammy winner was spoiled with a further 250 pink roses of the same value before receiving a carved crystal rose sculpture from luxury design company Perigold worth an estimated US 3100. Travis knows what she likes and is always wanting to send her lots of nice flowers, a source had told the news outlet. The romantic move follows Swift's dash from Tokyo to Las Vegas immediately after her concert at the Tokyo Dome so that she could watch her boyfriend play in the Super Bowl in which his team Kansas City Chiefs won against the San Francisco 49ers. The 33-year-old pop star was first linked to the sportsman, estimated to be worth $40 million in September when she was seen attending one of his matches for the Kansas City Chiefs, but she has now admitted they were already a couple by the time the world found out about their romance. So let's discuss that a bit, shall we? Back in July, eagle-eyed Swifty spotted Kelsey at Swift's heiress tour at Arrowhead Stadium, where he plays football for the Kansas City Chiefs. The football star was seen watching the show from his private box, as well as trading friendship bracelets with fans inside the venue. A few weeks after attending Swift's heiress tour concert, Kelsey revealed that he actually tried and failed to meet Swift after the show. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, Kelsey said on his podcast New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey, co-hosted by his brother Jason. He added that he wasn't able to execute his plan to deliver a personalized bracelet to Swift. If you're up on Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. During ESPN's Sports Center, reporter Adam Schefter alluded to Kelsey and Swift dating rumors as he discussed the player with anchor Kevin Nagandi by playfully using Swift's song titles. Clearly, Travis Kelsey, at this point in time, is trying to shake it off and get back out there. He knows how much he's needed and that he's the man. It was a little bit of a cruel summer for Travis Kelsey with that knee injury, but he can see the daylight. Kevin, he continued, he looks like he's ready for it and Travis Kelsey is now tracking to play on Sunday against the Jacksonville Jaguars, despite the fact that he was just limited today. During an appearance on Decamara and Richie on Odyssey Sports Radio 94 Whip, Kelsey's brother Jason was asked about Swift dating rumors. After previously being coy about the dating rumors, Jason said that the report was 100% true, which led to the internet and the hosts themselves, thinking it was fully confirmed. However, the audio from Jason's interview shows he immediately says he's joking about having the insider information on his brother's rumored romance. It's hard to answer because I don't really know a lot about Travis's love life, Jason told the radio host. I try to keep his business kind of his business. Stay out of that world. But, he continued, having said that, man, I think they're doing great. And I think it's all 100% true. And I hope this thing goes a mile. No, I'm joking. I don't know what's happening. Swift threw Swifties and football fans for a loop as she made a surprise appearance at Kelsey's Kansas City Chiefs game on September 24th. The singer was spotted watching the game from Kelsey's suite alongside his mother Donna, where she was later captured cheering as Kelsey scored a touchdown. Following the game, the two were seen walking out together as Swift donned Kansas City Chiefs gear and Kelsey rocked a blue and white denim outfit reminiscent of her 1989 album. A source told People that once Swift heard about the invitation to attend the football game, she didn't let a busy schedule stop her from accepting. Taylor is very focused on work right now and hanging out with her girlfriends, the source said. Travis invited her to the game, and of course she said yes. She just thought it was a fantastic way to spend Sunday, the source added. A day after making headlines with their rumored romance, a source gave people more insight into their relationship, noting that they are still in the super, super early days of getting to know one another. They're having fun, added the insider, noting that Swift and Kelsey had met before she attended the game. This was Taylor's first time meeting his mom and dad, and everyone was enjoying themselves. She was super chill and low-key, hanging out with his friends and family, 
the source added that after the game, Kelsey rented out a restaurant for an intimate gathering with his friends and family, which Swift attended. They were cute and normal, just hanging out and chatting, added the source. They're just hanging out and there's no pressure, said the source. On October 1, Swift was spotted at MetLife Stadium as Kelsey's team faced off against the New York Jets in New Jersey. The singer brought along a handful of her celebrity friends for the game, including Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Sabrina Carpenter, Sophie Turner, and Anthony Porowski. Ahead of Sunday's matchup, today debuted a Swift-themed ad between the Kansas City Chiefs and New York Jets, using the singer's hit song, Welcome to New York. During a team media availability, Kelsey alluded to his romance with Swift, saying, As all the attention comes, it feels like I was on top of the world after the Super Bowl, and right now I'm even more on top of the world. In response to how he's handling all of the new eyes on him amid the rumored relationship with Swift, Kelsey said he's learning how to navigate paparazzi just taking photos from all over the place after photographers have begun waiting for him at his Kansas City home. Kelsey understands the territory that comes with Swift's level of fame, however. At the same time, it comes with it, he added. You've got a lot of people that care about Taylor, and for good reason. The day after attending her heiress tour film premiere in Los Angeles, Swift flew to Kansas City to watch Kelsey play at Arrowhead Stadium. The singer was seen mingling with Brittany Mahomes, as well as both of Kelsey's parents. During SNL on October 14th, both Swift and Kelsey made surprise appearances on the show. While Swift helped introduce Ice Spice as the musical guest, Kelsey appeared in a hilarious skit about the NFL and their obsession with Taylor Swift coverage. Following the show, the two were photographed holding hands in NYC as they attended the SNL after party at Catch Steak. Taylor and Travis were there all night and they were so smiley, they were so happy, a source told people about the outing, noting that they were super affectionate the whole night, giving each other kisses. On Christmas Day, Swift was seen cheering for Kelsey in the stands as the Kansas City Chiefs took on the Las Vegas Raiders at Arrowhead Stadium. The singer made the outing a family affair as she was accompanied by her mom, dad, and brother in the box. Following the game, the couple was seen leaving the stadium hand in hand. Swift wore a black and gray plaid miniskirt from Hill House, a red sweater, black tights, black heeled loafers, and a black bomber jacket. Meanwhile, Kelsey wore a Chiefs Letterman jacket and a cable knit sweater with gray trousers. And now, this adorable gesture on Valentine's Day just shows how much the couple is in love right now. And that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed the content, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. To stay updated on future uploads, be sure to click the notification bell. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Do share your thoughts and feedback in the comments section. Looking forward to catching you again in the next video.